in this one we are going to actually make some changes to our settings file so it works well with our local copy and our live copy because they're not going to be the same um, so in your project we want to make a new folder and call it settings and we're actually going to move our settings file into there and then we're going to make this new file called init and we're going to go from base import all so now we need to make a base and we're actually going to call that one the regular settings file we're going to call it base okay so now it's base.py cool so the next one we need to do is new file we need to do local.py then we just have local and base so base is that one Local is empty, so local we're actually going to copy this and put it in here, save that. And then the other part is we're going to try this, and in it we're going to go to try from local import all, except pass. So uh, basically it's going to get all the settings from base, and if local's there, all those settings too. So we're actually going to remove some of this stuff for now and then we're going to move these static root file over here make sure we import OS and static dirs kind of delete some stuff here Templates. We do need the media as well. Okay. Save that. Okay. And since we went one directory down, we need to add a new directory to this. Otherwise, we will see errors with our static files. Okay, I'm gonna remove this stuff here. Cool, all right, so we have that set up. Let's make sure it's working. Let's go into the desktop. MVP landing, and we're gonna do a Python managed py sync database, and it's still working. So Python manage.py run server and we will check out our local server here. Let's go into Chrome. And MVP landing still working, okay, cool. So that means our setting files are all set up. Remember, you need to make sure that this is right, local is correct, and then our base file uh, looks like that as well. So let's just check to make sure that our static files are working correctly as well. Manage.py and then collect static, say yes, and looks like no errors were thrown so we're good on the static files too. Uh, installed apps, this is another thing that you can actually put into local uh, as well. So don't forget to do that because your local installed apps might not be the same as your live ones. So next we're going to make a file called live.py. This is going to be the one that's going to sit on your host. Uh, that way all your live settings are different from your local ones and we'll do that uh, shortly here.